Well, um, to kick off with, we've got um, um, some images which uh, you very kindly sent in. Thank you. We uh, guess you've all been probably away in the summer and been to other, other places, and it is when you're abroad and on holiday that you actually tend to sort of look around and try and navigate places, and that's um, one of the many ingredients of urban um, design. So thank you, all of you, for sending in pictures of good places and bad places. Um, my colleague, uh, Neil, who's not here today, came up with this idea, which um, I suppose we um, lent to Top Gear then, of having a cool wall. And so what we'd like to do is to pick up some of these images and ask you to um, uh, rank them. And uh, John and I will put them on the, on the, on the um, scale on the wall over here. So kicking off with this one, which um, is a, obviously a street festival. Um, uh, where does that rank in all of your minds about um, whether it's an a, a uncool place or is it a cool place? Or, um, um, I think some, somebody your... sent this in, and it's, you know, it's clearly a pretty nondescript bit of road, but seeing as they're having a festival on it, it does bring a sort of a, a different use to it and a different ambience. So, I mean, obviously, if you take the, uh, the, dra uh, the dog away and all the people away, it's, it might not be as interesting, but I suppose it lends itself to, uh, to being something else, and that's, you know, how we use places as part of um, what we'll be talking about today. So, who, who was it he sent this in? No takers. Uh, okay. <laughs> what do we think? Is it, uh, it's a transformation of a very, you know, Simple place, isn't it? Probably um, a bit unlucky, uh, unlovely place, but one which has um, come to life with um, activity. So, do we think it's sort of kind of cool place or um, uncool? In the middle. In the middle. Put it in the middle. Okay. It's a good, good. It's a good marker. Yeah. Got quite a few of these, so we'll pace pace our way through them. Um, next one is. Um, if you just hit the arrow down there at the bottom. So this is a pretty barren place beside a busy road. Um, some landscape, some attempt at surface treatment. Not quite sure where it was. Does anybody remember sending up one in? Looks as though it's abroad, but um, on the signage. Perhaps some pretty uncool place, isn't it? It's not. Um, Somewhere that um, anybody would like to walk along, really. Is it uh, on a sunny day? It might be all right, but the uh, rest of the time isn't. It's obviously. It looks like it's somewhere in America, but um, they've tried to put some bandstand at the side of a pavement there, and I'm not really sure what it's all about. But anyway, so that's a pretty uncool place, or yeah. Not doing very well, this, are they? Lots of them. Mate. Sorry. Humbling. Uh, how do we get rid of this? Johnny? If you just um, click out to the screen there. Can we get that off the... Using that side. All right. Of this button here. So, a housing estate with um, steps which you can't easily see up. Lots of ramps. Nice brickwork, nice tree. But... Um, not, perhaps not where you want to be walking home of an evening. So um, where do we put that one? Seriously uncool. Seriously uncool. <laughs> These uncool. are the types of things now that architects really, really like, but everybody else hates. So I think we'll put them down here. <sighs> Sorry, how do we... <clears throat> it's the button on the other side, the left one, yeah. Right, how do we get that to move forward then? Yeah. Next, right. We're off. Cardiff Bay Theatre. Well, that's a good public space. Um, iconic building. Um, presumably, anybody been there? Somebody has. I think it's good. Yeah? Cool or um, even better than cool? What do you think? Better than cool. <laughs> Somewhere around Next here. One? Yeah. Well, London Bridge Station, it's the um, arrival if you come by bus or as a pedestrian from one of the main directions. Um, incredibly heavily used transport interchange, isn't it? But what do you think of that as an urban space, a civic realm? Any good? It's a yeah, <laughs> seriously uncool. I think it's off, a bit off the chart, so. So off the dial? Yeah. There. yeah. Down one, didn't I? Oh, come on. 
Sorry. Um, Spit of Wheels, London. Much transformed from what it used to be as a market, with um, much easier to find your way around now with a nice um, view of the Christchurch and lots of cafes and bars. Is that a good place? Is that um, cool? Yeah? Cooler than Cardiff Bay. Not as cool as it was, all right. But down here, so. We come to um, Wilton Road by Victoria Station. Another major approach to a transport interchange. Um, quite a thicket of um, railings and um, lots of signs and everything telling you what to do, but maybe um, not very easy to do. What do we think about that? Any, any better than London Bridge, do we think? Or is it... Um, uh, marginally better, yeah. Somewhere around here. Yep. Worse. Then um, somebody else sent in Harrow on the Hill bus station, which, um, well, I suppose um, uh, offers offers a bit of shelter, but um, perhaps some. Um, uh, what do we think? Is that um, same sort of category? Is it, or is it? Um, in the corner. It's another one off the dial, is it? Okay. It's seriously <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of a shocker, all right. We'll put it down here. Put it. <laughs> now we'll have uh, Johnny walking out of the room, see? Um, then we've got a um, uh, primary school um, in Sydenham. Set, I guess it's probably a set down area where parents might pull up if they're driving or um, picking up children and um, where children will hang around after school. Um, Blank wall. Um, what do we think? Not, um, not very cool, is it? Not a nice place if you're a little person and waiting. It's rather bleak, isn't it? It's not, um, not somewhere you'd um, uh, want to remember. So the next one is um, Lake Mills. Confess I haven't been there. It's a retail park in E10. Uh, that's the entrance to it. Um, nice tree, a bit of a canyon. Um, what do you think? Is that um, somebody's probably tried to uh, make it a bit more attractive, haven't they? With the turnaround and the road and um, so forth. But um, where Looks does that rank? Looks pretty dark. Lots of rubbish in the corner. Yeah. What do we think? Is it um, uncool? Right. And Monmouth Street, Common Garden. Um, yeah, better? Friendlier, sort of know where you're going. Lots of um, activity along the pavement. Um, so is that um, cool? Yeah, sort of, um, what have we got on the wall there, Johnny, next to it? Um, uh, where would it go? Algernon Road or Spitalfields. Yeah, is it um, better than Spitalfields or um, better? Yeah. Okay. Bit to the right then, perhaps. And then we move out of London, which is good. Nottingham, their new market square, which has um, won lots of awards, hasn't it? It's um, got a very good hard landscape and is very appropriate for festivals, meetings, and um, general confluence of lots of pedestrian routes. Um, I haven't been there myself. Who's been? Work well, does it? Yeah? So is that... Um, Sorry? Is it? Great. So we, we're moving off on the right then, are we? So, yeah, good, good. Well, it's, um, I think it's terribly good when um, cities outside London can demonstrate that actually uh, really, um, they can make good places. Right, well, somebody sent in. <laughs> uh, well, it is probably one of the worst building types that's uh, come upon us since the Second World War is a multi-story car park. At least this one isn't underground. It's a good setting for B-movies though, isn't it? So where does that um, rank? <laughs> Harrow bus station, eh? Yep. All the way well, down. Well, it's sort of way off, way off here, is it? Right. Right in the corner. Good. No. Are we, are we getting better? Now we're in Christchurch, New Zealand. Wow. Well, I know um, Phil Jones who was here a minute ago. He's... Um, just come back from New Zealand. Looks a good, um, good place. Um, 
what does um, anybody think? Where does that lie as a, in our scale? Who, who went there? To yeah, good, good. Markets, yeah. So, how does that compare with, say, um, Christchurch and um, Spitalfields and places like that? Is it um, on your scale? Is it um, as good? Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is a housing scheme on the south side of the river, isn't it? Um, the Ingress Park. Um, I don't know who sent that one in, but it's um, uh, one of the um, new developments along the um, south side of the Thames Gateway. Um, very good um, uh, scheme by, by all accounts. Um, where do we think that lies on the, the, the dial? Is it as good as the um, LDA 70s housing estate? No. Nope. a bit better. Better? Yeah. So it's kind of all right? Or better than all right, or um, yeah. So it's sort of um, on the bit, bit left of cool. Then is it? Bit left of cool. And then one of the old favourites of um, Elephant Castle. Um, how do we, um, how do we feel about that? Obviously, it's all going to be changing over the next. Um, um, but, uh, <laughs> It is. It's seriously uncool. It's seriously never, uncool. It gets sent in every uh, every time we do this session yep. by about five people. So. And then we have Upper Street, Islington, which um, a lot of you probably know. Um, how does that rate? Do we think in terms of a obviously very busy thoroughfare, um, quite a wealthy area, lots of nice um, restaurants, bars, and um, so forth. But as a place to move through and walk along. Is that, um, cool. yeah, cool, yeah. And then somebody sent us in the um, <coughs> West Handon Regeneration Area. Well, I guess we can all see why it's um, designated Regeneration Area. Um, and um, uh, what was the, um, who sent that one in and where do they, they want to make a comment about well, what they would like to see regenerated about it, perhaps, just to... Help us benchmark it. No? Some mystery sender we had then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's um, probably is pretty uncool, isn't it? It's and, pretty um, uncool, yeah. Exactly why uh, we need to, as a society, revisit these places and make them nicer places for people to live and be proud to come home to. Very beautiful photograph. Now somebody sent in this chapel in um, and, a, and a cemetery. Um, and, well, yeah. we had about two or three people sending graveyards, so we've never had any graveyards before, so this is kind of encompassing all the graveyards. So, um. I, I must say, I think graveyards are very important pieces of public open space, really. They're, 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 they're not necessarily morbid places. And, uh, yeah. But this is obviously very beautiful on a, on a um, hoarfrost day, or is it um, snow as well? Um, so beauty and serenity, how do we, where do we, where do we put that on the dial? Cool? Pretty cool. cool. Graveyards are cool. Right of cool. It's got a few more of these and then we must uh, move on to our first PowerPoint. So this is um, not perhaps a better use of a car park, isn't it? Top floor of a multi-story car park. Temporary use for a party, gathering, something or other. Sounds good. Yeah, another example of um, temporary use. So that's pretty cool. Or um, Yeah. Pretty cool compared to the uh, the multi-story car park we had earlier on, I think. So. Okay. And somebody sent in Barcelona. Well, very uh, much acclaimed city that certainly transformed itself for the um, Olympics and continues to be a real world destination. Where do we um, where do we think that is? Um, and maybe one of the boulevards. Um, um, uh, what do we? Where do, where do people feel that lies in the spectrum of? Good places. Cool. Sub zero. Sub zero? No? Yeah? Right of cool? Yeah? Down somewhere, here. somewhere down there by the coffee pot. Somehow Upper Street in Islington is cooler <laughs> by this chart, but anyway. 
and somebody sent in um, uh, Rope Lane SE1 at night. Um, obviously, some good good lighting to make it uh, more attractive to pass through at night. Um, who sent that one in? Is that um, yeah, successful place is it? Yeah. You feel comfortable and safe moving through it at night and. Um, Great. So is that, um, where would you rank that? I think it's cool. It's cool. Yeah? Cool. Running out of cool space. And nearly through, we then got, um, well, Trafalgar Square um, redone a few years ago. Um, a lot of people feel it's a fantastic uh, place for national events, isn't it? And um, it's certainly easier to navigate than it um, used to be. What, um, but how do we think it is as a national place? Does it? Um, what, what do you feel about it? Is it um, good? Better than it was, obviously. Good enough. Better than it was, yeah. Good enough, or um, it's obviously a different scale to the more sort of local places we've been looking at. But okay. Do you need our? The last one is South Bank which again has been recently redone. It's been transformed from what it was. That used to be all loading bays because uh, all the theatres used to face onto the road uh, behind it. But what they've managed to do is turn the whole thing around so now the whole south bank looks back onto the uh, river. And uh, I threw this one in myself because I think it's a very successful place. So this is more dealer's choice. So <laughs> I'll put it up here, it's sub-zero. But um, the point is really that you know, we all know what are good places and what are bad places. So hopefully, the day today will sort of say something about how the decisions are made. To you know, how these places are, uh, what the thinking behind these places are, and what the thinking behind these places are, and why there's no reason why these places shouldn't be a bit more like this, because we all know what's a good place and what's a bad place. So we're already halfway there. Well, but one of the mysteries is that we continue to build bad places, even though we, there wasn't much disagreement in this room. And I think yeah. that, you know some of you will have not agreed with some of the conclusions, but there's pretty much a consensus about nearly everything. Yeah. And yet we still manage to build new things, and you go to it and you think, how did that happen? So that's that's one of one of the sort of mysteries of, yeah. of the business that we're in, really. And the difference, I suppose, between urban design and maybe architecture is that architecture is very subjective, and some people have very strong feelings about. You know, certain types of buildings, some people might not like it at all, and other people might think it's really good. But urban design is slightly different, whereas there is a general consensus about what is a good place and what is a successful place that works and what's a bad place that doesn't work.